What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on our Town Hall 13. And today we're going to be playing around with some Queen Charge Hybrid. I was scrolling through my comments and I came across one that asked if I could do some Queen Charge Hybrid at Town Hall 13. I was like, yeah, I can do that. Absolutely. So that's what we're going to do here today. And if you guys want to suggest some of your own strategies, go ahead and do that down there in the comments, whether it be Town Hall 13 or a different Town Hall level. But before we go out and hit some raids, we have some loot to spend here, guys. Last time we got some big upgrades going. Today we're going to finish off this last Tesla upgrade upgrade right here which is going to use up pretty much all of our gold right here let's be honest but we can go ahead and we can upgrade this bomb as well and then we still have these collectors over here the elixir collectors and gold mines so if we don't get enough loot we can always upgrade them and then with our, our elixir we don't really have any upgrades so we're going to go ahead and throw all the elixir into walls and then finally we're going to try to get enough dark elixir to upgrade our king at the end of the episode here so let's hop into it and show you guys the queen charge hybrid just in case you've never seen this before basically we're going to queen charge and set up pathing for our hybrid so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this baby dragon here i'm gonna go with my queen here i like to throw a loon out in front of my queen to try to catch any seeking air mines and then simply i'm gonna go ahead and throw all the healers here all the healers here and we're just gonna try to get this queen working down towards this town hall compartment all right we're gonna wall breaker her in i mean pretty standard stuff right here guys this shouldn't seem too crazy and then the hybrid portion is the hogs and miners it's called a hybrid because it merges together two attacks basically with the hogs and the minor attack so let's go ahead let's take out that builder hut so we make sure that our queen goes into this compartment hopefully she goes into this compartment actually i have an idea we might be able oh no she she's she's no nope, that's not working uh let's go ahead and save this healer here so queen's gonna go down there which if there's a clan castle we need to get that taking out so that would be be really good here and i kind of wish that i had a third wall breaker here not gonna lie but we don't so we gotta kind of work with what we get we're gonna go ahead and go here with our king and just let him start funneling down the opposite side of where our queen went basically and then we're going to go ahead and just let her keep working and then pretty soon right after we put the king and the siege barracks with hogs in we're going to go ahead and throw in our hogs our miners warden royal champion and then the hog riders okay and most of the time on this like your rages are usually held for the queen charge but for this time we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a queen charge here with all of these troops right through the middle of this base so let's go ahead and let's just see where that makes the most sense we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rage right through there since nothing came out of the clan castle we'll just drop that poison on the enemy queen we should be pretty good here guys so basically we're just trying to create a funnel trying to create pathing through the base i should not let my queen auto pop that was a little bit risky but we're good uh we should be fine to three star here uh yes yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty fine here so we'll just work through here we got plenty of miners up we still got our royal champion with her ability which we're going to throw right here through that single target inferno and then the queen is at plenty of health to finish this base off. So that's the queen charge hybrid. With the queen, you need to get down the clan castle. At town hall 13, you don't necessarily need to get the town hall down. But if you're going to send your hybrid at the town hall, you need to have that warden ability. You might notice we got a little bit of extra loot. Guys, I recorded this video yesterday, but I did <laughs> I did not have my mic on. My mic was muted the whole time, so part two, let's go. And this style base right here, I really like a lot for hybrid because we can set up a nice pathing. If we can take out like this right side of the base with a queen charge, we can run our hybrid right through at the queen, at that scatter, at the eagle. So this is a base I really like for a queen charge hybrid. And again, we can queen charge, we can get the town hall, we can get the scatter, we can get the clan castle out. So we can get a lot of those early objectives that are gonna help this attack succeed. And that's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to three-star. We're just trying to have a good attack out here, right, guys? I mean, who doesn't want good attacks, right? All right, let's go out. Let's rage up our queen because she's going to come into a little bit of pressure here with that scatter shot firing on her and then with the uh, Grand Warden Pedestal. You do have to be aware, aware of Warden Pedestals. They can be a little bit of a nuisance here, guys. I need my queen to go south here. If she doesn't go south, we might have to change the plan. Yep, of course. Okay, so queen. <laughs> All right, so now since uh, the queen's doing this, uh, we're going to basically go hybrid right at the town hall here, I think. So let's go, let's go like this with the queen. 
Let's go with this. I just gotta try to keep these healers alive while she kind of works through here. Uh, let's see if this wall break works. Let's go ahead and rage here again. Queen, come on, stay up. All right, uh, Queen's fine there. We're gonna have to pop her ability just so she can get some healing, and then we're gonna have to run this through here. Now, we do have clan castle troops out, and we wanna poison them because that's just a nuisance. All right, beautiful, working, cooking, cooking, working. And then I'm just gonna let this king set a little bit of having since we had to change it. And this is actually a pretty good example because there will be times where you're just going to have to change what you're doing with the Queen Charge Hybrid. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to heal right on through this Town Hall area. And then we're going to use that Warden ability right as we're getting through that Town Hall, okay? So Town Hall is going to fall right about through here. We're going to go ahead and pop his ability. We're being healed through there. It doesn't have that lingering poison like a Town Hall 14. So that's why you can actually run your Hybrid through a Town Hall 14 and be fine. So that's something, to, or a Town Hall 13 rather, excuse me. A Town Hall 13 and be fine. That's something to keep in mind when you're doing this attack at Town Hall 13. At Town Hall 14, you really don't want to run your hybrid through the Town Hall because it's just, it's going to hurt them. It's going to take them out, guys. It is going to be painful. Uh, we should be able to still save this. This one had a clan castle, uh, and it's looking pretty good. We should be able to bring this one back and three-star. And sometimes, you know, uh, especially like doing this farming, like we don't have the best, like, you know, like, we can't plan for every little nuance. If this was, like, a regular attack, I could have planned, you know, better to get my queen where I wanted her. But since this is a farm attack, we kind of just got to do what we got to do. Now, you do need to be aware of time. Also, you want to try to get that hybrid in by, like, a minute 45. Also kind of depends on how much of the queen or how much of the base the queen has taken out. The more she gets, the less you have to get with the hybrid, obviously. So there we go. We get another one. We're good on Dark Elixir for a king, but let's go ahead and hit one more example here. Let's finish up with this base right here because I've actually done hybrid on this base multiple times. Again, I kind of wish I had another wall breaker, but that's okay. We're, we're just going to have to deal with it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go with our Yeti up here. We're going to go with our baby dragon over here. I'm actually going to wall breaker over here because we want to wall breaker our king in. And then we're going to wall breaker over here because we're going to wall breaker our queen in. So we're going to go with the double wall break on opposite sides here now be careful when you put that yeti in if you are going to use a yeti because if the uh healer or the yeti's too close to the queen when you put the healers in the healers will actually just go right for that yeti you can see right there they were trying to go for the yeti might so you got to be careful of that guys so now our main objective here is to keep this queen alive she's going to be facing a ton of pressure here we do bring in one headhunter which is going to be perfect for this enemy queen. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw this headhunter. It might've been a little bit early. Yeah, it, was a, it was just a little bit early. Uh oh, wait, queen, 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 queen. All right, well, we gotta make sure there's no clan castle troops, which I don't think there is. So uh, that's uh, that's a ripperoni and cheese. All right, queen does not wanna cooperate with us, but she should actually be able to loop around here and go all the way and take out the eagle artillery here. So it's not the end of the world. I wanted the queen to go down that side and then we would have a narrower, straighter path there. But honestly, like the queen going this way, not the end of the world, guys. I'm kind of okay with it because now we can go ahead and I'm gonna just wait for that gold mine to go down and we can throw in our miners, we can throw in our warden, and we can throw in our hog raiders right through here. We're going to go ahead and go with a freeze there. And then let's see, let's keep our queen raging through here. We're going to freeze a scatter yet again. Okay, okay, working, cooking, cooking, working. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to heal there. And we're going to have to hit our warden ability to make sure we get through this town hall here. All right, looks like we should. All right, queen got all the way through the eagle. Uh, we lost some troops over here. They got toasted away. That's okay. Uh, RC is going to have to pop her ability because, well, that single is going to take her down. Oh, she actually stays up. Nice, nice. But the queen did exactly what we wanted her to. The queen made it all the way around the base. So not exactly to plan. Like, honestly, like, most of these weren't to plan. But that's the beauty of the hybrid. If you can learn how to queen charge and keep your queen alive, most of the time you're going to have a lot of success with the queen charge hybrid. I mean... It's all in the name, right? Queen Charge Hybrid. Uh, and we'll get the three star here. Again, we didn't have a clan castle troops, but I'm just trying to show you guys the basics of it. I feel like I kind of failed you guys showing you the pathing of the things I wanted to do, but you get the idea. You want to create basically an alleyway for that hybrid to go through and then just send them right up the middle of the base. All right, guys, I mean, it's pretty straightforward stuff. We'll go ahead, we'll finish that off right there. Let's go back home, let's see where we're at. I'm really stressed out, like I said, I, I messed this video up. 
It's trust me out so much, guys. Let's go back to our progress base. Let's go ahead and drop down our king to level 72. Nice. Uh, I, I forgot we probably have league medals in here, huh? Yeah, but there's nothing, nothing really on the base that's super urgent. Like, our king's almost done. We have a lot of defenses. Maybe we just buy two hammers of building here. Uh, I think that might be the move. Let's go hammer of building here. Did I buy a hammer of building? Yeah, why? Oh. Oh, wait, that's max. That's why. Uh, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and let's upgrade this harsher tower there. I need to move those over. We got 7 million, which we really can't do a ton with. But we can get a giant bomb up after we upgrade uh, a couple more walls. One more wall? Yeah, one more wall. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade this giant bomb. And we'll... I think I did the wrong giant bomb. That's all right. We'll call it a day there, guys. Hopefully this will help you out with your Town Hall 13 hybrids. This will work at Town Hall 12 this same exact way. At Town Hall 14, you have to be aware of the Town Hall more. You have to get the Town Hall out with a blimp or your queen charge, one or the other. A lot of times, I'm going at the Town Hall with my queen charge. You can't send your hogs and miners through it. Uh, it's just... You're not going to three-star that way. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.